Welcome to Ashley Marie. Today is part two of our pastry series and we are making croissants. Our dough is all ready to go. It's been overnight in the fridge and it's time to make croissants. So we want to lightly flour our dough. When I say lightly, I mean lightly. We don't want to add a bunch of flour to this. That would actually toughen this up and it would not be as good. So just enough to keep it from sticking. And a little bit on here. Now you can see I accidentally kind of pulled on the dough a little bit right there and you can see just how thin and delicate it is. So. Sometimes beating it a little will help relax it before we start rolling. All right, as you're rolling it out, you're gonna start to feel it start to stick. That's because these layers are so thin and delicate the butter is just almost right there at the surface. And we want, once it, once it breaks, once we get that top layer gets buttery, it's kind of all over. So better to be a little careful and keep moving it and adding any flour if you feel any sticking at all. But again, it's not too much. So it's a delicate balance between just enough flour so that it's not sticky and too much. Our dough is about a quarter of an inch thick and we're ready to cut it into the right shape. So first off, we're gonna cut it right down the center. And I just eyeball this, but you can always measure it if you have a ruler around, personally. I probably own about 10, but I can never find them. <laughs> All right, so you can see how the dough is starting to, uh, starting to pull back already. You wanna make sure you cut all the way through. We don't want like, it's still connected over here. It's gonna to start to pull and we don't want that. I'm gonna get four croissants out of the side. So I'm gonna mark the center, mark in between there. All right, that looks nice and even. And the reason you wanna mark it before you cut is because once you cut, that's it, it's done. So you will, by being able to eyeball it, you kind of make sure you're on the same path. So in between these two marks on the other end, I'm gonna mark. Mark, mark, mark. Same thing on this side, mark, mark, mark. And now it's just kind of playing connect the dots. So go from this outside edge to that first point. Again, making sure to cut all the way through. We don't want anything attached. Here is our nice long triangle shape. We want to cut about half an inch right in that center and we're going to stretch that out. That's going to help our croissant shape. The other thing we want to do is kind of pull. Stretch it out just a little bit. So we're going to take these two points from this cut and fold those down and that's going to help start our croissant shape. And then you just roll till you're at the end. Look how pretty. And you can curve that in and put that on a baking dish. And we're gonna do that with all of these. You know, if you think about it, these actually look like the Eiffel Tower. All right, so now we have a full pan and I need to cover this with plastic wrap. Uh, and then we're gonna let it rise for about three hours. We want it to almost double in size. 
All right, they have risen and doubled in size and now we're ready to bake them. But before we do, if we bake the croissants just like this, they would uh, taste great, but they would be kind of a light color. They don't get that golden color unless you put an egg wash on them. So I've taken an egg and I've beat it up and I'm going to very lightly cover the croissants because if you were too rough with them, this is actually such a delicate pastry. The layers are delicate. The fact that it's risen is delicate. Um, they would actually break and deflate. So just take your time. They're not going anywhere. And anywhere you get is gonna turn that lovely golden brown that we like in a croissant. So if, um, if you miss someplace, you will be able to tell. So again, just take your time. These are ready to go in the oven. All right. Our croissants are out of the oven and they are beautiful. Look at this gorgeous coloring. Now, to show you guys the egg wash, I did paint this one half with wash and half without wash. You can see the difference. And you can see that this is has that great crisp, shiny, glossy, dark golden color. Where over here, it's just kind of dull and unappetizing. Now, it's still gonna taste flaky and buttery and delicious, but it's just not as pretty. So that's why you wanna make sure to use the egg wash. Should we give them a try? Let's see. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, man. Oh, that's perfect. You can hear it crunch as it comes out. You can see all the layery pastry dough. Oh, okay, this is gonna be good. Oh, it's just falling apart. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> what do you think? It was really good. <laughs> good, how about you? Delicious. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Last week was the pastry dough. Next week is Ponzan chocolate, and the week after that is Queen Amon. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Leave me a comment letting me know if there's any other recipe you'd like to see me do.